This week, the EPS will begin a proof of concept testing to evaluate the technical performance of facial recognition enabled body worn video cameras. The proof of concept is a limited testing period to determine the feasibility of facial recognition on body worn video cameras and their functionality within policing. The EPS has partnered with Axon Enterprises Incorporated and will be the first police service in the world to test Axon's body worn video camera facial recognition technology. This proof of concept will test the technology's ability to use EPS mugshots to help make officers aware on shift of individuals with officer safety flags and cautions that resulted from previous police interactions. This technology will also help police be made aware of individuals who have outstanding warrants. Starting as early as tomorrow, Wednesday, December 3rd, up to 50 police officers who are currently using body-worn video cameras will begin to use facial recognition enabled body-worn video cameras on their day shifts for the remainder of the, of the month. Police officers wearing facial recognition body-worn cameras will operate automatically in silent mode, which is a capacitive mode, while their cameras are actively recording. Officers will not receive potential resemblance notifications during this proof of concept. The facial recognition technology that we're testing on body-worn cameras works much like the system that we, we introduced in 2022 to help identify suspects from sources such as CCTV footage. It operates in a way that's similar to how we currently use our fingerprint identification system. Both rely on humans who verify the results. Ultimately, our goal is to test another tool in our operations toolbox that can help, uh, and help ensure further public and officer safety while respecting privacy considerations. The Edmonton Police Service has submitted a privacy impact assessment to Alberta's Information and Privacy Commissioner to make sure this facial recognition proof of concept is fair and respects people's privacy and the law.